I was just thinking, y'all. Seven is a good number. So I'm going to have to count. I'm so crazy to see if I'm 56 or 57. But I think I'm 56. I don't want to uh, jump my age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, uh, you know, I was thinking, I had a lot of things in thought. I just seen on where this mother had, a, you know, confronted a lady that was known to be a good woman in the community and started a fight with her, ended up slapping her, and then she threw her purse to her daughter, and her daughter shot the woman and killed her. So, I had a similar situation happen to me, where uh, a grandmother, I spoke, I said hi to her, and she had her grandson with her, and this woman cursed me out, and honestly, I have to say, um, I'm always defend, you know, the innocent, I'm not just going to try to talk about no one, maybe, you know, um, she, she did have a black car before and I had seen that car and I had seen her but I didn't know this woman I've never talked to her never never knew her but you know that black car one night I was coming home and that black car pulled up and the car it is you know it's just not in a good state and it looks to be of that that you don't know someone that could possibly and not saying cars because people drive up in good cars too but her car just looks suspect and i'm not trying to be funny you know and so maybe i did give her a glare or something at night if i didn't and i didn't know who she was but certainly once i seen she was a woman and um She's just someone I've seen before. I don't know her. Um, so, you know, maybe I glared at her and, you know, she thought it was against her. But she didn't know that I had been carjacked. And uh, I, someone, twice, someone tried to carjack me. And so she doesn't know my story to maybe why. That's the only reason I can think of because I don't, I didn't just like this woman. But... I have to be honest, she belittled herself and was saying, you know, the dog words that women say, and she kept saying it. And honestly, I went there with her for one, I, I did say the dog word one time, and I feel so bad. I said, why would you ever reduce yourself to that level? You know, um, I call that peasant behavior. I, but the behavior is peasant to me and so I guess I fit in there with the peasants because I said it once and I feel guilty you know I'm like don't go there Monica you don't become like what they see her son is here and her son 10 years old he's doing this to me while she's talking and being disrespectful you know doing this with his hands and I'm like, wow. I said, now I know why children grow up disrespecting adults. Because here's this grandmother using all kind of foul language, y'all. Foul, just foul, in front of her son. And here I go, about to join suit. I am just so grateful that actually God caught I me. I caught myself. Like the Holy I Spirit said, talked said, to me and not, said, no. no. I'm like, I am against calling women names. I'm not fixing to go here. I can't do this. You know, let me call the police. <laughs> I don't have time for this. <laughs> I have time not to. And then when the police get there, guess what, you guys? They're all Caucasian. Well, the man, I stopped him. He was the police riding through. He was a Caucasian man. And so um, his remedy... <laughs> And I just had to walk away at this point. Because, you know, you don't want to try to go into, 
you know, people be thinking you're trying to tell them what to do. But, you know, his remedy for uh, us was don't say anything to each other. And I told him, I didn't know this lady and I would not say anything to her, period. You know, that's his remedy. But I said, that does not solve anything. I just had to walk away. Well, as I was walking away, the two women came and they were Caucasian too. And I'm not fixing to sit up here in front of my other brothers and sisters and that that half of them want to see us kill each other and do no donkey. I walked away. I just don't have time. I would not say anything to that sister, period. You know, so God allows me to see what I need to see. And um, you don't have to talk about anything else. Just won't say anything to her. Um, that's not the remedy to me. The remedy was to get down to the core, you know, because I have nothing against her. The remedy should have been like us coming together and talking about what what brought her to the conclusion to where she wanted to curse me out when I said hi. And then if the cops had any proper training, you know what they would have did? They would have told her the proper thing to do when someone to say hi is to say hi back. And if you don't feel like saying hi, then don't. But why would you ever curse a person out? See, there's no training. You know, that's just common sense. You know, and sometimes grown-ups need to be trained. And so what good is sending out the law if they don't even know how to do like personal, you know, training. They, I mean, just people training. I don't know. You know, anyway, I'm off that subject. But nothing was resolved other than the fact that two black women are not speaking to each other. And I have nothing against the woman. It's just like absolutely ridiculous. And, and that her son needs help because he'll be one of the people hurting people on the street. Because of his grandmother. You know? And someone don't even... I don't even just like this woman. I don't even know her. <laughs> so, you know, if, if anything, you can be a setup. You know? You, you know? Yeah. See, I'm paranoid. These people out here is crazy. They, they want us dead. <laughs> and y'all can say what you want. I ain't make it up. Y'all go look. It's just sad. We need training. We need better policing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I made some beloved sauce. I have made some garlic butter beloved sauce. And I tell you, it was good. I'm sitting over here eating. But I had um, turkey tails. <laughs> mm, I had turkey tails with mine. And I had corn. I got a corn in there boiling in the sauce. Because I want that corn and that garlic. That garlic butter is the bomb. It's better than the other one to me. I like the garlic butter better. I like the other one, but the garlic butter is the best. Mm, 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 to me. Everybody got their favorite. Don't be mad at me. But I like the other one, too. So I get a taste for the other one, too. But I purchased the garlic butter. Because I like the flavor. A little bit better. But anyway, I you know, I said all that to say. I'm, you know, I'm just going to have to pray for my peeps. I got to pray for myself. And then I came home with a ticket. Ah, they just gave me a ticket. Chicago is taxing, baby. In this city. Ticket a hundred dollars. The other one, I don't know. I think they want a hundred. I'm like, what the hell? The people just eat your money up here in Chicago. This <laughs> they pricing people out. I'm like, and then you know, I'm telling you. People running with their dogs. Where people used to, you know, be respectful with their dogs and move on the side. These other people from another mother move into the neighborhood. And they do not 
They will run with their dog alongside them and expect you to move around their dog. I'm not moving. If your dog bite me, I'm suing. <laughs> I'm suing. And I'm going to beat it. I'm going to try my best to beat it and you. <laughs> with the grace of God, I don't ever have to go through that. But my goodness. You gonna let your dog? People used to be respectful. I have a little little putty. When I was with my son, I had a little um chihuahua, and I had it on the um on the um leash, and I didn't let her go near people like that. You don't do that, you know, until you know that the people are comfortable with her. You could, you know, people walking on the streets, you. I mean, for me, dogs are very protective of the people that you know, with they the dog. love. The dog don't know just the people that know you. I just don't get it. You know what I'm trying to say? What? Com where is it? Com boo? Common sense? Boo? The dog is an animal. And I'm saying that it's not. I don't have feelings. I ain't saying that. But people, human beings come first, mate. Period. What's up? Demons. Some, some, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Not all. <laughs> Get right with God, Jesus. Get your life right. <laughs> These people. T t oh, okay. Let me get out. <laughs> Let me get out. Get out. Y'all know I love y'all. I love y'all too, y'all other people. Uh, I love y'all from a distance as long as you don't do no harm to people. But you ones that I, mm -mm 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 -mm, you know not what you do. Because um, I wouldn't want to face it right off. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know what y'all thinking. But any hoot, let me get off of here. I'll be back and you guys know what's up. You know what's up. Love is. I gotta have a hug, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, that hug. Mm, wait a minute. My heart ain't perfect. Nobody's heart is perfect. Love is. Uh, mm mm. 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 Boop. And that's what's up.